All right, we're over uh, over my neighbor's house, cutting down some trees and uh, get them all branched out, throw them on the fire. And I'm gonna take the logs for firewood. All right, Tucker, what are we doing? We're cutting down this tree. This tree? What kind of tree is that? Um, can't tell. Um, Take a guess. Maple, ash, or oak? Ash. Ash, very good. Yes! All right, we're gonna let John cut this one down and see how that goes. <laughs> Which way are you gonna go with it, John? Drop it right that way. Okay. okay. So, you always do this. You don't, you don't have the handle on this side. You got the handle on this side. So if it's comfortable to run, run this way with it. Yeah. Yep. And then make sure you're nice and level this side. How good of a job he did for his first real time. Not too bad, pretty clean in there. A little far on this side. It's all right, we can cut this. So you're gonna come over here, start at this angle, and cut straight up to here. Follow this angle, right up to here. So you cut this out. Take this and nip this little nipple off. So it goes straight down. Good. All right, make your marks around the outside.
see how I told you you started going crooked? Yeah. See how low you ended up here? Yeah. You always just want to you always want to come make sure you come straight in. I mean, obviously it worked out all right, but you want to try to make that as even as possible. You got a habit of loving to run this saw upside down. Yeah. What am I doing? You're holding it like this for some reason when you've got this whole handle over here. So you're running on this side like this when you could easily step over here, run it the same exact way, except you got a whole handle to hang on to here and it'll make things nice and level for yeah. you. Yeah. It's working the same exact way, except you're just on the opposite side of the tree. I don't know why I wanted to do that. You're trying to hold it like this. There's no handle over there for you to hold. Come over here, hold it like this, and it'll love to be run this way and you'll be able to get it nice and flat. Okay? There you go. Food for thought next time. Yeah. All right, cut the branches out. Yay! All right, guys, we're gonna get to cutting the branches up. We'll clean this tree up. I'm gonna make Tucker do most of the work. Free labor. And uh, we'll be back with you when we're ready to cut the next tree down. Stay tuned. All right, let's, uh, tree number two for John. See if we've improved our, <laughs> improved our technique. Are you scared? Why would he be scared? No. Tucker. Why would I be scared? Tree's wobbling up top. You want to pay attention to that, okay? What's the matter? Can we go get Ellie? I'm gonna cut it. Yeah, Tucker, go get two little wedges and the hammer. Okay. The little wedges are on my chainsaw box, the hammer's on the sled. Does it feel like it's pinching your bar when you were going? A little bit. Let's see what it 
feels like. Stay with your dad, yeah. Put your ear protection on. confidence in yourself. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I'll run those back. Or at least put them in the wheelbarrow for now. Put them somewhere where they won't lose them. Yeah. All right, that wasn't so bad, was it? No. no. There you go. <laughs> what do you think, Tucker? I think he was just a little chicken. <laughs> Tucker and I are having a little sit, waiting for his dad to come over with the tractor. What we're going to do is, uh, I believe his plan is to push the fire in a little bit. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a bucket on his tractor. He's only got a, uh, a back blade on it because he's got the snowblower on the front. And he doesn't want to take it off. Doesn't want to take it off. So let's see how this is going to go. What do you think, Tucker? Is it working? Yeah, no, not really. Not really? Kind of. Kind of. I mean, look at the fire. That big log. The fire's going a little better, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit. I think so. It's better than before. Sure is. What are you doing? Trying to put out the fire? What do you think? I think it actually helped a lot more. Helped a lot more? Yeah, now that I'm Yeah. Well, what do you think about cutting down the next tree? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Ellie, my dad's going to do it. He, 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 he. Do you think your dad's going to cut it down, or is he going to make me cut it down? He's going to make me cut it down. going to make me cut it down? Is he scared? Why? <laughs> you just gotta be safe when you're doing it. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, uh, fire's pushed in, and we're gonna go get ready to cut the cut the next big tree down. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right. We are on the fourth and I believe final tree for the day. This is the biggest ash it's got just a little bit of a curve to it there but what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up uh, probably putting it right in the lawn somewhere there try to stay out of that tree so we'll get all this junk cleared up around it so I got somewhere to walk and we'll notch it out
We got a nice cut in there, nice wedge out. I don't think we'll have any issues getting this tree down. So what I'm gonna do next is, obviously I'm gonna be working in the back there. I'm gonna clean all that brush out of the way. That way if I need to bail, I got somewhere to go and I'm not tripping over and get stuck. Cause what, safety's number? <sighs> safety's number one, that's right. <laughs> Tucker, can you do me a favor, please? What? Can you go grab the hammer and the big wedges, please? Yeah. Okay, Thank you. Big wedges. Okay. I'm scared for number four. What do you think, Tucker? You want to be the cameraman? Sure. Sure? Okay. All right, there you go, buddy. Listen. If you need to run and get out of the way, don't worry about the camera. You can drop the camera and run. Don't worry about that. Okay? Cameras can be replaced. What do you think, Tuck? Good. Good? Did you get it on camera? Yeah. Were you a good cameraman? <laughs> All right. Tree's down. Unfortunately, we did hit the little tree there, but it's all right. Somewhat clean cut. Pulled some of the heart. But it's down safely. Nobody's hurt, right? Yeah. That's what matters most. 
All right, guys, we're gonna get cleaning this up. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we'll log all these up. I'm gonna go get my tractor. And we'll take the logs over my house. All right, we, uh, we got all the logs skidded out of the uh, backyard and they're all up onto the driveway. The big tree, I cut the base off of it to 10 feet, which is what I prefer to have my logs at. And I am bringing the base home since it is the first one. So what we're gonna do is, uh, once I drop this off, I'll go back, I'll show you where I skidded everything to, and then we'll start cutting at a 10 foot length and uh, using the forks of the tractor to start transporting it back home. Set it where the uh, garage was. So I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes once I'm up at the uh, where we skidded everything to and give you a view of what's going on. Well, we have, uh, we've skidded the logs all the way out here onto the driveway from back there. And what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be cutting the logs into 10-ish foot sections. I can load them on my loader that way, bring them home. So the first big one, probably just cut in half. And then I'll be able to get both of those on the loader, take those at a time. And once we get into the smaller ones, I can put more than two on at a time. Let's take a look at what we got here. This is all from today that we just cut. I brought it over. Bad little pile of logs. Probably could have did a better job stacking it, but got that big hole in the middle. That's all right, because we're just going to be splitting it up in the next couple days here. So. Well, I hope you liked uh, today's video, helping John out cut down those trees. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. Taught him a couple things. He's not super familiar with using a chainsaw, but he wants to learn, so that's always good. So, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos I got. You might like them. Who knows? But, anywho, have a great day.